Software Spring Presence How to use IPMT in Google Sheets Hello folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on using the IPMT function. Here are some key points about IPMT. IPMT returns the interest amount of a loan, for a specific period. Use IPMT to calculate interest amount, for any of the loan repayment period. Key point IPMT calculates the interest, for the same amount loan repayment every month. Alright, here's the format of the IPMT function. Here is an example. Rate is the yearly interest rate, in percent. The rate should be divided by 12, to get the monthly interest rate. Period is the month, for which you want to calculate the interest amount. In this example, the function returns the interest amount, for the first month of the loan repayment period. Number of periods, is the number of loan repayment periods. Present value is the loan amount. Future value is optional, and is the future value after the last payment. End or beginning is optional, and equals 0, or 1. If it is 0, interest payment is due at the beginning of each period. If it is 1, payment is due at the end of each period. Moving forward, here is the objective of using the IPMT function. To calculate interest amount payable, in first month of loan repayment period. Loan, rupees 10,000. Interest rate, 7.5%. Payment periods, 12. Alright, let me type the loan data here. Let's type the IPMT function formula in this cell. First, type equal to, I, P. Select IPMT. For rate, click this cell. Divide the rate by 12, to get the monthly interest rate. Type comma. For period, click this cell, to get the interest amount for the first month. Type comma. For number of periods, click this cell. Type comma. For present value, click this cell. Press enter. Alright, this is the interest amount payable in the first month of the loan repayment period. The negative symbol indicates that the amount is the cash outflow. If you wish to remove the dollar symbol, first, click this cell. Click this down arrow. Click number. OK, say now you want to find out the interest amount, which will be due, for example, in the last month of the loan tenure. All you need to do is to change this value to 12, and press enter. OK, this is the final interest amount payable on the loan. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.